Alright guys, the recording is now up, which means this is your host, Kazar Spell, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Version. In the last episode, we began our adventure, and we already took down two gym leaders. I currently am in Orberg City, and if you ask me, Q, why are we in Orberg City? I have no idea. I, I think we went, I think we took a wrong turn. Oh right, before we get started though, I want to teach a couple of my Pokemon some good moves. For starters, I want to teach Return um, to Vroom. Because Vroom will get same type attack bonus. And return is a super powerful attack once that, uh, uh, once that Soothe Bell raises the kindness. Otherwise, we're gonna teach Grass Knot. I did not consider this to be a move that Nell could learn. So is that music coming from the game? It is! You guys like it? Oh, you were afraid I left the background music on. That makes sense. Oh, I was trying to press select. I forgot. It's assigned a Y in this game. berries. We're probably not even going to use most of these berries, but I do want them because they're kind of, a lot of them are status ailment heals. And it saves me from having to buy things. I think we have to head north. Whoa. Oh no, we had to head east, didn't we? That was Cycling Road. We headed south. Now we have to head this way? I was hoping you'd tell me what route I'm on. Okay, are my Pokemon up for a fight? Just in case I get ambushed by children? Hello, Hiker! You look like you're going to be excellent XP for my buddy, Tide! Hi, Justin. Yeah, that looks like some juicy XP. Tide uh, is falling behind in levels a bit because he kept getting, like, annihilated by Pokemon. So it's nice to see him, you know, fight things he's good against to help it, to help raise his level just a bit. This is going to be bad if I can't win. Okay, you can go ahead and harden. We're, atta we're using special attack. Show me. At least you have speed on your side. It's true. Tide is very fast. Hi, 
Hi Q, how's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Q, choose which hand you want. Right. I see. You want the Versus Seeker, yes. I'm impressed, Q. You know it's important. Using the Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Q, do you also have a Pokich? Yep, you do. You can have this too, then. You deserve it for all your hard work. And we got the Dowsing Machine. The Dowsing Machine app locates unseeable items. It's kind of like the item finder. The Dowsing Machine is something you should touch often. It will tell you if there's an item on the ground you can't see. I think there's even something here. Try it out. Okay, let's keep working on the Pokedexes. Rowan is counting on us. Ooh, level 20 wild Pokemon at this point. That's both great and awful. Because it means I might have trouble training Tide. That was a crit! Oh no. This won't kill, but ow. Tide, I believe in you. Please get, please hit it. Is Seismic Toss 20 damage or level? It's level damage. Uh, why does it keep doing? Can't wait for the uh, generations that allow me to just rapidly use the same item over and over. Hello, stalking man. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Why well, would, like, I get it. I get that you're a very serious man. Why would you tell this to a random 10 year old? I, like, I assume all trainers you play as are like 10. So why would you tell a 10 year old in a cave about this? Indoctrination. <laughs> you know, I can't fault that. Okay, don't fight bronze or say tanky.
Do fight Geodude, say easy XP. So close. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? Do you need help? Can we help Jonathan here? His Onyx is using Rage. He needs help. We were starved for food and now we're starved for a win. Dude! Jonathan, go! <laughs> Just go! <sighs> I feel even hungrier. Maybe I'll chow down some bear. Yes, do that. But that's kind of gross. What am I, a bug? Eat fruit! Like, my man Jonathan over there needs to learn to eat fruit. It's okay. Why would you use foresight? Oh, that hurt. Ball. <laughs> You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? I need an adult. Go ahead, man. 
Go ahead and keep using Harden. <laughs> Tide can no longer escape. Oh, that's the fun thing. You think I'm trapped with you. You're now trapped with me. Oh my, a big man like me got schooled by a little kid like you. I'm glad I didn't do the oh my. Just like, just don't, don't talk to me. Rock smash. And it's male! Oh, if I... If this was a different game. Look, Gallade is one of my favorite Pokemon. I, I would absolutely use this. Wrong gen... No, no, no! This is the gen that introduced Gallade. It's just, I didn't want to just use Gallade every single game, you know? Very master. Okay. Why not use your favorites? Because, like, for those of you who are just tuning in, uh... You would also hope the routes was, wasn't a nature that lowered its attack. Fair, but my point is that I, like, a big part of me replaying these generations is I'm using Pokemon I never used before. I never used a Staraptor. I never used uh, a Float Soul. I've never used a uh, Bronzong. I didn't want to just pick the Pokemon I knew were good, you know? Sorry, this, this is a jaunt. You and I, let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. Why am I fighting babies? Oh god. That is an aggressive child. Kill it! I just beat up your babies. Actually, I don't know how far away the next town is. It's probably right here, isn't it? Yeah, that figures. Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Baneri could have run. Baby Baneri, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Pokemon contest judge. 
be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. I will not... Unless it is required by game, I will not go into a contest. Okay, let's see if I can go south from here. The contests are interesting, but the ruins of Sil Silesian Town are as well. You wanna move? Sorry, the gate's closed for a while. We're on a location for a TV shoot. Okay. Let's see, hang on, I gotta look at the map. to my notes. Yep. Just as I feared. South of here is where we're going to be getting the last member of our team. So we're probably going to have to go around. Did you know they found an egg at the daycare? Did you know... They find eggs in the far off Jota region too. Okay. If you leave a pair, I don't care about the daycare. You're making me go to the contest hall, ain't ya? This is the contest hall. Please do go inside. Oh, my hero! Oh, hi, Q! Hi, Mom. Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Q about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. I got glitter. Yay, glitter. Everyone loves sh plastic shrapnel. <laughs> Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also Once it enters a space, it never leaves, its particles permanent and unending. Yes. Okay, Joanna, see you later! Oh, hey, Fantina's here. Were you surprised to see me, Q? I got bored, so I came out to Hearth, Hearth Home for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? No, not dressed that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I got a tuxedo. I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Why did you just have a tuxedo in my size on you at every given moment? Anyway, go enjoy the contest, honey. Contest will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now.
Yes, I beg your pardon. Ah, we oui. Contests are, you are here for? I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Hearthome, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, très fantastique. Fantina being myself, of course. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be très strong. And thin, so it shall be. I wait for you at the gym. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there are the usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast a light on one, or they ca catch you in the light, the battle's on. Okay, now this is really important. It's about the tiles on the floor. First, find one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark on it. Advance through the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. If you choose a wrong red door, you'll get sent back here though. That's how this place is. Go get him, champ to be. That's still infinitely better than how Diamond and Pearl did their gems. In Diamond and Pearl, you have to answer simple math problems. <laughs> what, you don't like math? I am perfectly okay with math. I love that you just use pain split to make your own HP lower. And I'm still gonna lose due to confusion. Oh, you know Psybeam. That's not good. Good job, Tide. I'm going to lose due to obnoxious paint split strats, aren't I? Okay, good. an answer for uh for ghost types wait no the center was over here still blocked. Yeah. I'm not getting out of here until I can beat Fantina. Oh, 
Also, I get the feeling that, uh... So you know how the room is supposed to be pitch black? I'm, I'm just getting the feeling that something might be wrong with my copy. Sorry, it's my fault I ate all the demons that caused that took away the light. I... I don't think darkness works that way, Mr. Muffinberry. Muffinberry, do you know how the sun works? Smile. Do you know how light works, Mr. Muffinberry? It attacks the darkness with infinite magic missiles, right? Are you lost? Are you enjoying yourself? I'm not lost. This is this is actually kind of weird. I'm gonna go and get I need I need to just find Sorry that freaked me out that we're already back at the entrance. Okay, we need to buy some potions. For those of you wondering, how is Q going to beat the gym leader? I have no idea. I have literally nothing planned. And the fourth gym leader of this game? 
I know I keep saying this about every gym leader and everything, every trainer we come across, it's a big battle, but it's quite a difficulty spike. Her Pokemon is a menace. How dare! You're already using Minimize. And yet I still haven't missed. do is finish you off with a wing attack. Yes! Aerial Ace is just wing attack with infinite accuracy. I was wondering what would do more, and it turns out that Pursuit does, in fact, do more.
still switch in tied back in to get some of that XP though. on tide make this a two shot yes is poison type so this could do some good damage You have Shadow Ball. Yeah, that's powerful attack. Give my butt whip though, so back to the Pokemon Center.
ho ho ho! Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in the city. I say to myself, Infin, I will succeed. I mean, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Si es un un performance? I don't know French. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be a gym leader. And, uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no? Fantina is a wonderful, difficult gym leader. Starting off with a Dust Skull, pure ghost type. Alright, my attack stat was just cut in half. Fantastic. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, but that's difficult. Oh, that's strong. A crit! Tied you a and you took future sight. Oh, at least we traded one for one. But that's her good, that's her best Pokemon! I tried to use Confuse Ray. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Miss Magius is an incredibly powerful Pokemon, and Shadow Ball is one of the most powerful ghost attacks in the entire game. Alright, Turters, you're up. Yes! I was really hoping that would do more damage. You're just gonna heal! That might put her out. I don't know, this could be interesting. Quick claw! Fingers crossed to ignore the confusion. Come on! Yes! I mean, the battle's not over yet, but that was clearly her most powerful. Oh, heavens! What is this? Is this my final Pokémon? Turders, you have to tank and wake up! 
Don't worry, I'll use a potion if needed. Darn it! And it's always that case, isn't it? I use Confuse Ray, it, it lasts for what? One turn on the Miss Magius? They use it and it lasts for like seven turns on, okay. Come on, come on, come on. No! There, confusion over, bite. Never give up, never surrender. I know you're gonna use a super potion, so so am I. Turners! No! Oh, I snap! Yo, oh, God, my best confusion luck yet, except for the part where I hit myself in the face. Player defeated, Leader Fantina. You are so fantastically strong! I know now why I've lost. Oh, that was... That was nerve-wracking, I'm not gonna lie. I am dumbfounded! So very, very strong! You, your Pokémon, so strong! Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. And we got the Relic Badge! That badge will let you use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. What does she give again? Shadow Claw. None of my Pokemon are able to use it. Still, all things consider- like, I know I keep saying it, all things considered, that could have gone worse. And I hope you guys saw that, how easily that could have gone worse. Because, gosh, if that bite was not able to- it, Like, if Weasel did not crit to finish off the Dust Skull, I might have been in a worse con uh, condition to fight the Miss Magius.
Oh, you got some nasty heel strats on you, don't you, random trainer number 47? I'm paralyzed, leech seed, you're using Mega Drain. It's not a good time for me. Finish it. Okay, I was just checking if there were any more trainers. Hey, a barrel. ourselves up a barrel. Now the reason we want the barrel is because I was thinking eventually we're going to evolve the Bidoof, but this is easier than evolving the Bidoof.
All right, now that that's finally taken care of, let's see if we can head south. Nope. Can we head east? Yes. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Q. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gone right here, right now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. That fight slurp again. Okay, he's starting out. Oh, wow, you actually have some high level Pokemon. You are not double teaming me. No. No. Okay, I'm gonna hypnosis. And when hypnosis finally hits, I'm going to use uh, aerial ace. Oh yeah? I'll show you something wicked too! Is it your Pokemon fainting due to Aerial Ace? I didn't realize how close our teams were. He's got a Bweasel, I got a Bweasel. He's got a Staravia, I got a Staravia. He's got a starter, I've got a starter. Do not tell me your fourth Pokemon is a Bronzor. I'm gonna lose it. I was really hoping you'd use some besides Mach Punch, to be honest. about to say okay Roselia I was about to say I did I did not just accidentally create the rivals team <laughs>
What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Ah! Goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Say, hey Q, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work worth beans. I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up the team a bit, a bit at a time. Anyway, I'm off to Silesian Town. See you, Q. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Okay, one more time I'm gonna see if uh, this route to the south is cleared up. I doubt it is, but I wanna check. Yeah. Darn it. Let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. What? You don't know me. Oh no, please don't flail. Oh god! Sensory the Eevee. Oh, 
Eevee has higher special defense than I remember. Pokemon are in impeccable condition, and yours are significantly less peckable. Okay. Not interested in having Tide fight a Roselia. Good, Ron, good. Because we battled together, we're gonna crunch and munch you all up. Oh. in there, Tide. That guy was going to attack me. Hi, hi, I'm a Pokemon. Okay. Oh, okay. Pokey Kid and yell. And you're not even using a Pikachu! Right, static.
to it. You're one of those aroma ladies? Nope. Breeder. I still love that. Vroom acquired insomnia. Thanks. Okay, this route has an obnoxious amount of baby Pokemon in it. I would like to request Pokemon that, you know, give XP when you kill them. Most of these are just piddling amounts. Ponyta! Tide, please tell me you can take a Ponyta now. The last time you fought a Ponyta, it did not go in your favor. Where spirits rest. Please be quiet and respectful. Oh, ghost Pokemon are there. Okay. We're probably close to Selassie on top. Yep. Yahoo! Hey, cute. I got something cool. I'll show you as a special favor. Huh? What the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Oh, right. It's because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool. You have to check it out. I even found a HM there. It was Defog. Anyway, I'll battle you another time. See ya. Okay, so he just told me where to find uh, Defog.
where the daycare is located. Let's go and fight those people running around down here. You're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. Huh? You want to battle with me? I will if I can... If I could team with Ty. Okay, Ty and Sue, Venerian, Weasel. Okay, I probably defeat the Veneri. I thought you were going to do that. for Sue. I'm sorry, Ty. Just... Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a problem with those two. I was gonna make a joke, but I was just like, nah, you know what? They can run around. Public place. throw Nell at the uh, Pokemon Center and then we're gonna check out uh, <laughs> check out the Lost Tower. And by the way, I, I know it might not be obvious, but the reason that Tide has been first in like every battle so far, even though he's not the lowest level Pokemon I have anymore by far, He's only like one or two levels away from evolving. After he evolves, he'll be much better in fights.
an easy aerial ace and then you're dead. Unless you sing. Yeah, Miramu failed because you didn't let me attack. is gonna die because the bird keeps yelling in his ear. Taken out easily with a uh, freezer leaf. Is, can you pursue them away? No. Oh, I forgot to grab the item. That might be how to evolve, uh, Happini. My Pokemon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since, I've never forgiven their faces. So now we have confirmation that Team Galactic kills Pokemon.
Okay, come on. I know the fog is deep. Wait, I have Swift. You have Magical Leaf? I'm gonna get my butt kicked by a clover. That's what I get for laughing at it. Can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. you taken down. You just have three Pichus, don't you? Why do they all have citrus berries? Oh no. This one's a straight up Pikachu. Let's get that paralysis off of you.
How do you keep hitting me with rock throw in the middle of the fall? Oh my god. Rock throw has a piddling accuracy too. Like what? What's Rock Throw's accuracy in Gen Four? I have to look that up. Rock Throw. Pokemon. Oh, at some point they raised it. It's 90%? Okay, it was 65 in Gen 1. Okay. I knew Rock Throw was terrible earlier, but I, th I thought it took longer to correct. But yeah, Rock Throw used to be 65%. Now it's 90. It's still bad for a 50 power attack with no with no secondary effect. Yeah, I'm not saying rock, rock throw is good, but it was it's still like baby's first rock move. That's like trying to get the. Uh, that's like trying to say, well, why is tackle okay? It's just like it's not. You replace it when you get better moves. What? Tide is evolving! Yep, Tide evolved into float cells. Tide wants to learn crunch. get rid of pursuit like enemies rarely use like switch so this will just double the power okay and now tides stats yeah tide now has an attack of 59 which makes Tide the, the actual strongest attack-wise Pokemon on our team. Now, not everyone else is fully evolved or equal to its level, I'm aware. But it's still an impressive thing. And also, Tide now has the highest special attack. So, now that Tide is evolved... We can start uh, leveling up other Pokemon. It's good. It's good to have Tide evolve just in case we need we need him.
unfortunately, Nell's going to take significantly longer to uh, evolve. I believe that that's what, level 30? It's like level 32 to 35, somewhere in there. I don't think it, it's past 35. 33? Okay. You're slow now. And now I can't escape. bad position. Dang, just think, one level ago, Tide would have taken out half of its HP with probably those attacks because, oh, it feels good to be evolved. Oh, but we missed because of the dang fog. Everybody missing. Duskull. I'd like to get away though. I'd rather not fight you. Honestly, I should probably just switch out for Turters for the time being because Nell does not have a way to take out ghosts. Another return TM?
This is gonna take a while. that I need to hit misses. You have insomnia? I did not know that. Yeah, I'd, I'd only used Grass Knot because he, uh, Nell's been mean look. I literally can't get rid of Nell. Confusion luck for the win. I can't see, this fog obscures everything! Alright, let's see. My Pokemon can use Defog, but we don't have it. I think all you get for uh, helping them is like a Shadow Tag or a Cleanse Tag. Items that won't really be too helpful in our playthrough anyway.
right, somewhere in here is the HM. Ooh, a Firestone. But it's the HM for uh, Defog. Ancient ruins rife with the unknown. There has to be a meaning. But its significance eludes me, and that's gotten me cranky. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Bronzor, I do a bite, that could probably work. Flinch it! We found a fire stone and a water stone. And a thunderstone. All that's really left is leaf and moon and sun. Fog. Mind plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. And an odd incense. I forget what the odd incense does. Let's take a look. Oh, it's the same thing as the mind plate.
Yeah, they're not worth the XP. Let's see. Do I have an escape rope? Please tell me I have an escape rope. Should have bought one. to create something anew and alive. Neat. this way and then this way all right we got the HM I do want to fight other trainers. So, like, I didn't want to skip past one. Okay, Marco. Ponyta! Okay. As much as I do believe Turters might be able to take it, I am gonna switch out. Because I know a critical flame wheel could de could decimate it. Chanseys have low physical defense. Now give me that XP. Chanseys are worth a lot of XP. That was a wild one. Father daughter duo. Let's go. Ooh, Rapidash. That's not good.
first thing I burned. That still works. See what the twins have for us. Finish the Pikachu. gonna keep it probably but figured I just have it really sorry that's great Clefairy used a move going now you must target only me okay <laughs> that's what I was going to do already
Razor Leaf. At least that peony was worth a lot. trainer out here to be honest. seen things. ever have is Moo Moo Milk. 500 bottle. Would you like to add some to your traveling supplies? One dozen. some moo moo milks. I get the feeling there's gonna be a lot more to this route than I than I realize. Hide out the extra uh, water attack should help due to the rain. Water gun. 
No, wait, that would have been about the same. Shield on is incredibly defensive, both uh, like physical defense and special defense. Well, at least Bastiodon definitely is. Know if these are going to be any good, but might as well take them. Do unto others as you do under, unto you. Yep, it's payback. Oh no, I'm not. Well, I guess if you're giving it for free, I'll take it. That swagger. to take a look at some Sorry big pokédex There we go Yeah it, we can only find it to the south we're nowhere near that that is the Pokemon I wanted to get for, my, for our final Pokemon, by the way. I've never used one before. And the route to it was blocked, so we have to go all the way around. That's one froggy boy. Yep.
You know what? Keep throwing out the crow guns. Now, now is going to destroy you. Go ahead, use foresight, waste your turn. Pokemon is Metatite. That's actually slightly concerning. I might confuse Rayu. Same turn happens again, he's done. Come on. Yeah! Scyther. That's fun. You know, if there was a super easy way to make you a uh, scissor, I would actually really consider it because I've never used a scissor before.
out of here. Double team and I'm trying to leave. It's like, no, you can't go yet. I must dance. Poison spikes there, we can't really throw out new Pokemon. And now, anything I throw out will be toxic. That's fine. I did not expect the routes to start spamming double team though. is dangerous. Lickitung is less dangerous.
that hurt. That better not kill. And now anything I throw out is gonna get toxic. doesn't work on flying. Trainers down, and now we can continue. Okay, it looks like, did we make it to the next city? Yeah, we made it to Veilstone. HM you get for working with Veilstone. But I might. Uh, but let's see. To get to the Pokemon we want to get to, we're going to have to go down and around to the left. I'd use crunch!
Yeah, so while I do know that we have to do some stuff in Veilstone, I just kind of want to go around and explore and level up a bit because I also know that the next, uh, next gym type might give us a little bit of concern. But I don't remember if we can even do Veilstone at the moment. Private investigator with a gold dean. Let's see, this barely does any damage, right? Yeah, I gotta use it on a. Are you joking? Well, now I know why he had that, uh, coin flip motif. I was to say, you did just stop trying that. Camp tails and I like it. Okay. We have the hidden machine that teaches fly stored in the warehouse. They said I could use it if I, if I showed them I deserve it. Okay, so the HM located here is fly, which could be very useful. <laughs> no, I don't care. I, I don't want to know. Q, are you going to take a the gym challenge? Gee, you keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Me? Well, I went shopping at the department store and... I mean, well, of course I've been working on my Pokedex, but... The ring is my rolling sea. The towering wave shaped me. Crash, crash, crash or wake. Crash, crash, crash or wake. It's the tidal wave of power to wash you away. Put off the fire, Crasher Wake. Run from electricity, Crasher Wake. Ah, the ring is my sea. Hello, dude and young lady. You're challenging the gym leader, are you? Let me tell you now. 
She's young, but she's a born genius. I tried training with her, and I was stunned by how tough she was. Whoops, I'd better tell you who I am. I'm the triple threat gym leader in Pokemon Wrestling and Song. I'm Crasher Wake of Pastoria Gym. We'll meet again. So, uh, Q, good luck on your gym challenge. We have to hit uh, this to knock over those. We're the Karate Quads. I will strike a blow for love with my fist. Yeah, love. Okay, dial it back. defense I don't think I'm gonna learn either. oh yeah bronzor bronzor weighs a lot so low kick does a lot I actually think I might need to uh, ignore the gym for now due to the level, due to the levels of this trainer. I'm, I'm gonna do my original plan and head south from here. Because of that generic trainer, well, one of the gym trainers was level 27 the gym the gym herself might be around level 30 and I only have one Pokemon who might be able to stand up to that and I I'm mostly sure I could be wrong but I'm mostly sure that uh, she might have a Lucario so even though I use flying type moves the steel type of Lucario may cancel me out and the battle may get rough. Oh, wow, you have a lot of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Scroopy dance. Nell might be able to take a Carnivine. I'm not super effective against it, but it's a grass type. We know how that works out for them. Krogun gets one attack in. And then I obliterate it with a four times weakness. Tropius. That's that's a weird one. I should use a Tropius someday. Let's see. I might need to confuse you due to how much health you have. Yeah. Not that I expect confusion to work every time, but even if it stops it once or twice and deals a little bit extra damage, that's good enough. You've only used Sweet Scent on me and Growth yourself. You don't have a move that can really hurt me, do you? And lastly is Tangela. Oh, no, you still have another one after this. I was about to say, no way Tangla's that weak, but... And lastly is Yanma.
Okay, your double teams meant nothing. Nell just sweep that dude. Okay, it wasn't really a sweep. But it wasn't terrible. A lot of grass type trainers around here and, well, they can't do much to Nell. That's not to say they can't do anything, but they're not doing much to them. Wasting turns with Protect. Extra Sensory is really the only attacking move I have against this Pokemon. Grass Knot would do one damage. Yeah, pretty bad special attack. We're working with it. Another one. Uh. Do I think Nell could take it? Yes, but I, like, we all know that if I just switch in and use Aerial Ace, it would save us a whole lot of time. I bet, I bet you this person even has a third Wormadum. Inevitable like a whim.
here. We, we, this might be okay. Like, I just... Uh, I'm fully aware that Nell just doesn't have the stats. We're ru we were bleh. we are running into the same situation that Tide was dealing with earlier, where Tide just couldn't get that like that damage needed to match. And I know that again, when Nell evolves, it, he'll catch up. Now, Nell's never going to be the powerhouse. That's never going to be what Nell is. But it will still help. Are you also going to have six? No, you only have three this time. Ah, sand in my eyes. Ultion's coming back out. Aqua Jet should finish. Destroy the Vaporeon. It might live, though. It has a lot of HP. Pokemon here are wild level 27.
Stop missing. There we go. Is there not? We're closed. Please do visit while we're open. Okay, when are you open? This place has a Pokemon Center, right? Oh no, it doesn't. I think someone just heals you though. Yeah. Pokemon do you have? Play me out. Why would you no assist? Why? Assist has you use another one of your Pokemon's moves, but it uh, you're the only Pokemon on our team. That is seriously like trying to use Helping Hand in a solo fight. Yeah, the package hasn't arrived from the Veilstone Warehouse yet. I have to wait here until then, I'm going batty from this weight. Oh man, I wish I could do something that involved lots of explosives. Yep, this is gonna be a smashing job for Team Galactic. We're, we're gonna keep our we're gonna keep our eyes out for that guy. You know, man talking talking loudly to himself about wanting to blow things up in the name of your criminal organization. Why can't I just call the cops sometimes? Not interested in you. But guys, we have finally done it. We have made our way to Route 212. We had to go around the map. But we made our way here. And this is where we'll be able to find the Krogon.
somewhere. There we go. Oh, really? Room, you, you think you're so happy? Of course I get a critical hit. Running around for the crow gunk, we still have to determine what's its name gonna be, guys. that crow gun doesn't exactly have the highest chance to spawn. Oh. Why'd you have to crit it, Vroom? Why?
So yeah, welcome to the Q hunts and not like, we're not even shiny hunting here. Q just hunts a random pro gun. I do have to give it to people like it's a <laughs> I I don't understand how shiny hunters function is that, is that a nice way to say it like go going around trying to find one Pokemon out of 8,000 and I'm just like I'm going to lose my mind if I'm here for 30 more minutes I'm go I'm going to seriously lose it. I doubt this is gonna take anywhere near that long, but that's that's my mentality. Part of me is wondering if I should attack some of these Pokemon I'm running into just to get some of the XP. But I know that would, you know, escalate the time. Gonna kill this one. I'm tired of seeing shallows. <laughs> It's not really worth it. But did make me feel better.
Here we go. Please don't crit. Toxic Mouth Pokemon. It is popular as a mascot. Let's see. Let's see what, uh... What it's got. Okay, it is a careful nature. I'm gonna Google what that is. Increases special defense, lowers special attack. He doesn't use special attack, so that's not a bad one. Let's see, reduces HP if it's hot, water restores HP, that's fine. He's got pursuit and faint attack and swagger. Let's see what moves I have that might uh, fit into him, though. I am very curious uh, for a couple of them. One, can you learn Shadow Claw? No. I guess that's the only one as of right now. And you know what? I'm just because I'm looking stuff up anyway. What when does he become Toxicroak? Thirty-seven. So he's gonna take a bit. He's going to be the last one to evolve of my party, where Vroom, I think, is 34, Nell is 33, 
Tide is done, Turters is 36, and the Froggy Boy is 37. So it's all going to be around the same spot. Oh hey Q, you're out of luck though. The gym leader Crash Awake, I mean Mr. Wake's gone off to Veilstone. They said he had a practice match with Veilstone's gym leader, Malene. Sheesh, I ended up missing him completely. He should have been back by now, though. Hmm. that many pineapple berries. You're psychic, aren't ya? No? Ranger. Unfortunately, the froggy boy doesn't have uh, any poison in him. confusion, but let's go. Nope. Ah, oh, swagger hurts too. Yeah, there's a flinch. Again. Yep. Oh! Okay.
drink your milk. There's toxic. That's that is a poison move. don't have this gold dean also no horn drill Froggy boy can take on the barrel. boy to do his own stuff. <laughs> Gotta keep in mind, most of my team, we're, we're approaching the, like, the fourth gym leader in terms of level. And yet, most of them... Let's see. M most of my Pokemon are unevolved. Like, not, not fully evolved, and therefore still getting creamed. And you know, I probably should go back. Let's see if we can take on the next gym leader now. Because we, we have more Pokemon, we have just more. <laughs> more levels, more moves, more things like that. I'll probably do some off-screen grinding between this episode and the next one just to get some just to even out the team because th they're pretty spaced apart we got one level 25 and one level 30 something I'll probably uh, get them all up to 31 if I had the option right now I really want to get that fly and I want to take on the next gym leader that way we can at least say we've beaten two gyms this episode just like the last one
think this dude might have some rocks. Get some revenge! get you out of there. I know what it's like whenever my, whenever an enemy crow gunk fights a, uh, uh, my bronze or <laughs> doesn't end well for the crow gunk. to give a name to my team, it would just be a giant work in progress. Because I know my team could be good. I know it. It's just right now they certainly are not. Switch Nell in there. Hey, 
it's not like I lost a battle in this place yet, but it, it, it does feel like, okay, round two, I'm feeling more confident with my team. Guy screams for hope. The first guy screams for love. Hey, I get to do another one of those examples of what happens when a crow gunk meets a <laughs> meets a bronzor. two of the karate quads. This guy screams for courage! Safeguard, no. <laughs> Why do you need to foresight the burb?
pop that over here. Then it goes down. battle. We're the Karate Quads. I will strike you with a blow for tears to my fist. Tears! Oh. This may be problematic. Aircross is pretty strong. Don't you leer at me. I need to tank whatever you're gonna dish. Although if you decide to leer like three times in a row, I, I mean, that, that would be terrifying and the worst thing ever. Don't do that. Not the move I expected. So hungry, kid. Just eat. What is wrong with you all? Pleased to meet you. I'm Maylene, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader, but I will do the best I can as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously. Whenever you're ready. try starting off with some confusion or getting faked out. Ooh, starting off with a drain punch. Okay. not going to be able to tank. I have to switch.
Okay, focus energy is fine. But it's her last Pokemon that I'm scared of. Yeah, Lucario. This is the end, my friend. Okay, let's try... Wow. Moves will be good though. I think we better use Turter's remaining life for heals. Okay, no, plan next plan. Let's do this smart. Okay, so if you guys haven't paid attention to my strat so far, I guess I should have been explaining it along the way. Anytime he's killed one of my Pokemon, I resent out uh, Vroom to use Intimidate so that uh, it constantly keeps lowering his attack. He has not used a special attack this entire fight so far. So I'm hoping I could just reduce his attack a couple more times. So even if he kills Ty, even if he kills um, Nell, I could still get two more uh, off of him. This is doing a lot more damage. Well, it's still not doing a lot of damage, but it's doing some. Part of me is also wondering if I should switch to Crunch, but that is knowing that I'm using a not very effective move. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sending Vroom out again, and then I'm gonna switch to Nell. By the time uh, they actually have a one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh, you don't have any potions. That's a crit though. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you're going to have four attack downs while I'm coming in with full health. And I crit. Everyone wants to learn takedown. I'm not going to teach you takedown. Because a full power return is about the same as a double edge without the recoil. Okay, you win. That was tough. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. You learned I am cheesy. Please accept this gym badge. Yeah, I did it. Um, I should explain about that official Pokemon League gym badge. With it, you can use the hidden move Fly outside of battle. Oh, and since you now have four gym badges, Pokemon obtained in trades will obey you up to level 50. I'm gonna take this. And I think that's Drain Punch. Which is definitely a good move for, uh, the Froggy Boy. And you're not able to learn it. What? Hang on. Hang on. You can you can't be serious. Nope, can't learn Drain Punch. Cool. Can learn Brick Break. Yeah, so that's a little disappointing. Honestly, there's a lot of punch moves he can learn, though. He can learn, like, Focus Punch and dynamic punch. But no. Okay. He even learned Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is gonna be like his, one of his next moves, but not Drain Punch, got it. Please, can you help me? Some galactic goons took my Pokedex away from me. I need your help to get it back. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouses. Please come. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. But first, I need to heal. Badly.
Honestly, I'm gonna throw Vroom out front just to get some more XP because he's like one level up away from evolving. Hi, Q. Can you please help me? Do you remember Team Galactic, those horrible people that are standing right next to us? They tried to steal Professor Rowan's research results in Jubilife, remember? I ran into them and they took away my Pokedex. Please, I need your help. You and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon. United like this, our dream team has no chance of losing. I'm not letting those bad people get away with their dirty deeds. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you make me a... No, like, get rid of my flying? I swear if you explode I hate I hate being next to this full fairy knowing that it knows metronome and can just screw me over at any point. No, 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 no. Okay, no target. I should have kept my head down and just watched our warehouse. Yes. Yes, you should have. Aw, that stinks. Our Pokemon are chumps. We should get new ones from headquarters. Huh, who cares about some Pokedex anyway? Team Galactic's going to own all the Pokemon in the world! No, in the universe! Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway. So we'll say you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out on the streets like they own the place? Q, thank you sincerely. I would have been lost without my Pokedex. It's indispensable for helping Professor Rowan with his studies. So Q, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to the Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. I hear they show rare Pokemon to visitors there. Have no fear. I have come running. I heard of children feuding with the Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. Oh, it's that funny man from Jubilife. You insult me to my face? How very uncouth of you. I'm terribly sorry. What he is going to do now is hydrate. Yeah, I know, right? Team Galactic took my Pokedex, so I was very irritated. I just blurted it out. I should be going now. Be wary of Team Galactic. It is of no matter. Of more interest is the criminal behavior of the Team Galactic. They attempt to steal the belongings of a child. The scale of the criminality, it seems rather mis minuscule. The triviality of their actions make them more sinister, perhaps. 
The warehouse needs to be needs investigation. Come with me and we'll take a look. Hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give give chase to those who run away. Ah, this hidden machine. It is of the hidden move fly. Q, this should be keeping. It will not do to leave this item here and used by the Team Galactic. So, we did not learn very much from this exercise. No matter. What concerns me is what I have overheard in the game corner. The Team Galactic has transported something to Pastoria City. What they are up to, I do not know. But, I have bad feelings about it. team because I'm never going to use those. Whoops! <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. You know, I was just about to comment about this. He did not slam into me this time. So how's it going, Q? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Here we go again. Oh, he's actually higher level than us. And unlike us, though, he's using uh, double team strats. No! That was so rude! Thank you. 
Uh, he keeps trying to use Aqua Jet, but luckily I... And I'm gonna throw this out there. I was aiming for a dry skin uh, to Froggy Boy. Dry skin doesn't get enough credit as a Pokemon ability. It makes you completely immune to water attacks. higher level than us, so... Please live one... Okay. wants to learn agility. Tide can stop doing that. Yeah, I can tell you raised your Pokemon to be tough. Pokemon Trainer Slurp. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, kinda. And Vroom is evolving. And Vroom evolved into Star Raptor. Wants to learn close combat, yes. <laughs> Maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. Okay.
So I'm currently contemplating, like, I absolutely want, uh... Nell to level up a few times. But Turters is absolutely gonna get, like, the most benefit out of this gym. One more time. Oh. Come on, you can win now. to the water gym for every single Pokemon to have water balls. <laughs> and I'd be faster. Huh. 
Ah, lived. Beat up another small child. Man, this has been going on all stream. Just children and how to beat them up. First, I take out my super frisbee and it just breaks the mind of everything around it. thing is going to be too tanky for uh, Nell to deal with, so I'm just going to switch into Turner's. You got this, girl! Again, crossing my fingers that it doesn't have horn drill like that one did. Gyarados has such a high attack power that if he hits himself, it would be devastating. I mean, not the most ever, but yeah. It's probably going to do just as much as I'm going to do.
come on, come on, come on. Yes. One more level up. What well, one more level up and uh, we evolve. was nice. Got to heal. Do some switch training here. Very thankful that none of these Pokemon know Pursuit. Because that would just be an embarrassing time when you're Switch training. <laughs>
Samsung. But yeah, we're not actually going to fight uh, Crash Awake right now. to get healed up and I, I think we should just save that for the next episode that being said I'm not gonna wrap the episode up just yet I want to get a couple more experience points to push you over. I think that's going to be what it takes to uh, evolve you. You know, this is a good time to show off the before and after. So if we look at his stats right now, 27, 63, 27, 62, 23. following you. Don't worry, this is going right to your face. evolving and Nell is now a bronzong he wants to learn block no stats are okay so his attack and his special attack almost like they they went from like 27 to now 67 68 uh, defense and special defense skyrocketed uh, speed only went up about eight points but oddly enough much more offensive now those are the stats I was really hoping to see. And with 68 special attack, that does make him our strongest special attacker. Which is kind of sad. So, uh, by the time next episode rolls around, I'm going to see if I can get every single one of my teammates to level 35. 
to handle, uh, you, you know, to smooth out the experience. And that way we won't be uh, evolving Turters or the Froggy Boy off screen. We won't evolve them off screen. But I hope you all had a wonderful time. You know what we're going to be doing next time? So, this has been your host, Kazar Spell. Hope to see you in the next video or live stream. And signing out.